Hey guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can create an object and have that float realistically in water. So we're going to get started. Okay, start off with a new scene and then make sure you're in your Dynamics drop down menu like so. And then we're going to go to Fluid Effects, we're going to go down to Ocean and we're going to select Create Ocean. Now this will give us our starting point and I'm just going to click that, hit R, and scale that out, something like that. And I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode. Okay, we're going to set up some frames here in our animation field. So let's say, I don't know, 200 frames. And we'll just play that. Okay, as you can see, the ocean is responding, so that's nice. And I'm just going to stop that and do a quick render. I'll zoom in a little bit, and there we go. Looks pretty much like an ocean, which is cool. All right, now we're going to create a quick object. Let's uh, just uh, grab a polygon cube here, and I'm just going to drag that out on the grid and pull that up. Now, if we go back to frame one and we play this, as you can see, your ocean is acting like before, but your object is not interacting with the water. So that's not realistic at all. And that's what we're going to adjust right now. So we're going to stop that and go back to frame one. Make sure you got your object selected. And this can be, you know, a buoy or a boat or something like that. And while we have that selected, we're going to go in our dynamics menu to fluid effects. We're going to go to ocean. We're going to go down to make boats. Okay. Now, what that does is it's going to add some properties to your object to uh, create buoyancy and stuff like that. And um, we're back at frame one. And let's see what happens. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, as you can see, the object uh, drops to a certain level and it's uh, interacting with the waves. And that's how you can realistically uh, create a floating object. Now, in addition, and I just quickly want to show you that, if you go into your ocean shader uh, in the attribute editor, there are a lot of properties that you can play with, right? You can uh, have uh, foam on your water. You can play with that setting. You know, there are, uh, let's see what else we got. You can uh, change the wave height, the wave speed, you can change wind direction, and all of that will interact with your object. So uh, play with these settings, uh, have fun with it, and uh, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, just uh, leave them below the video, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks again for watching. Bye.